What's up my lunatics? Welcome back to my channel. But if it's your first time, my name is Anastasia Luna and welcome. All right guys, today super excited. Uh, I always say that, right? <laughs> um, we're going to be watching Diana Ankudinova and the song is called Rechinka. Um Reshinka, it, it translates, it's like a cute way of saying the river. I'm super excited to see another song by her. Um, besides the fact that she's a fantastic natural contralto, um, the, the things that she can produce with her voice are so interesting and so almost not natural, especially for her age. So I'm super excited to see um, what she brings to the table with this song. But first, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps me out. And if you like the channel itself, please subscribe. Also, guys, as you know, I'm a rock singer myself. And all the links to all my videos, my Spotify, my iTunes, my music videos and stuff like this are going to be in the description of this video. So if you have a second, please check it out. Let me know what you think and let's go! Diana Ankudinova, uh, Reченко. <laughs> Like that. Upper body movements, which is even hotter. Let me stop right here because there's just too many things going on and I'm afraid I'm going to forget. First of all, um, this particular piece of music, I wouldn't call it just a song. I feel like it's more of a, a song with a vocal performance and a lot of acting going on in it. Besides the fact that she has an amazing control over her tone, she's using a lot of upper body movements that actually can mess it up. So that just speaks of her technique that she can move as much as she wants and still sound and still produce the sound that she wants. Um, also, this is a, more of a, like a folklore Russian song. If you don't know what it is, check it out. It's actually really cool. Like people in like villages, like in like 18th, 19th century, even now, like used to sing, used to sing these kind of songs. Um, so it definitely reminds me of like old school Russian, um, like, movie about like a Russian village and all these women singing um, while working um, and th you can hear it if you don't speak Russian but the way she pronounces the words is very old school so I wouldn't talk like this anymore uh, I forgot it, it is exactly what the word the word that she said but it's a very old school of singing it's a very old school of pronouncing certain words so we don't it very interesting very folklore like very folklore way of singing Let's go further. Like a goosebumps. This is scary. Oh, 
Let me stop right here really quick. Um, I actually saw... It looks like it's a different uh, different show from uh, the song The Wicked Game that, that she sung. I don't remember the name of that show. This is like a different, different show. I don't know, because I see... Oh, no, it is the same. Because I see two producers, and uh, I guess they invite different guests. So one of them, I don't know the girl, but the the guy, I know him. His name uh, is uh, Sergei Lazarev. Um, he's actually not bad of a singer himself. I couldn't... I mean, he's not Freddie Mercury, but he is very, very well-trained. He's a... Uh, I also like his personality. He's very level-headed. And, I mean, like, I left Russia very long ago, so I don't know. I, I just I just speak from, like what I can find online and um, what I remember. So he actually talks a lot about uh, new singers in different shows. And um, like, I, 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 I hope that he's going to do something for her because from what I uh, read from your comments, guys, that she like is not signed with anybody uh, and nobody really is doing anything for her besides the bold guy whose name is Igor Krutoy, who is like the czar of Russian pop music. He like um, gave her an apartment in Moscow, which is a really good gesture. But I mean, like give her a career. This girl deserves to shine all over the world. Um, from what I heard, uh, nothing has been, um, nothing was was given to her as far as like career wise. Um I, again, I love the old school pronunciation of the words. I wonder who wrote the song or if it's just an old school song that has been rewritten and put on a different track or somebody just like dabbed into old school folklore, uh, can't speak, folklore Russian singing and wrote this song. Um, the, what is it, yodeling? When she goes, when that, that break in her voice, uh, I don't know. I mean, like, I can do maybe one or two, but hers are very consistent. And it's not something that you usually hear from singers because singers, I feel like singers try to shy away from it because it's very easy to make that sound almost ugly. And she's working this sound so beautifully. And it's so, it's so nice to hear it within the song. And like I said, this is not even just a song. This is a vocal performance. It's it's an acting performance. And she changes between the scary, scary, almost creature when, when her, her voice dropped and the dancers were behind her and she was just kind of speak talking and it's scary. I felt like I'm in a scary movie. And then she opened up and she started smiling and she... Um, if I'm mistaken, the lyrics kind of goes that like uh, we have a lot of guests in our house, we have a lot of horses in our yard, kind of like that. Um, there is so much going on. She is such not a 14 year old child. There is so much depth in her as a singer and as a persona on stage that she portrays. I actually don't think she portrays anything. I, I think that, that that's her. I heard that she had a pretty tough childhood. I have not researched about that. So I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to read a little bit more about that. Oh, you guys tell, let me know in the comments um, where she comes from. But from what I heard, unfortunately, Russian show business is just sucks balls. It's just so bad. And I mean, like, Pop music and like show business, like radio show business, is not necessarily the the best like anywhere. But I mean, in America, at least we have like talented artists um, being pop stars. Like in Russia, it's like there there is nothing. I don't think anybody sings live anymore. I, we have a lot of talented uh, performers, obviously, but nobody sings live. You see all these like TV shows and you know those like we we kind of have like um. Russian Grammy kind of thing. It's called um, Zlato Gramophon, something like that. And it's just everybody lip syncs. It's all about TikTokers. And, and we have this in America too, you know, like uh, Bella Porch and uh, what's her name? Charlie something. You know, they are like superstars. But in America, we do have... Um, my phone is dying. In America, we still do have uh, fantastic uh, singers being pop stars. And it's just... You look at this and you're like, you have two producers and two, I'm assuming, singers. And from what I heard, there's really nothing been done for her. Um, just an apartment and she's like just going from a show to a show. Not fair. All right. Let's look at the end of the song because <laughs> there's so much going on. I don't even know where she can, how she can top this. <laughs> oh, they're all pressing. Again. He 
he, he is a very nice guy. Did you show? Those half steps are so hard. Wow. Um, this was not just a song. She's not just a singer. She's such a full package of acting and, you know, depth and voice and natural ability to produce things out of her voice that are just unnatural. It's it's amazing to hear and see such a young child, really child. You cannot even really call her a child because you look at her, you can't call somebody who has so much depth in them a child, but such a young girl and she has all of that. I only hope that, I mean... <sighs> I don't know. I heard she's 18 right now. And honestly, I, I don't necessarily follow Russian like show business industry. I'm more into like metal and rock. But I, 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 I don't I, I've no I never knew about her. You know, you guys told me about her and I kind of swipe up through like different la Russian channels and different, you know, Russian Instagrams and stuff like that. I've never seen her. I've never heard of her. She's not in any of the like main, you know, main show business kind of, um, you know, awards and stuff like this. She is just, and it's, and it sucks because there are two producers that have all the power in the world, not in the world, all the power in Russia to make her into a superstar, really doing nothing for her. So, you know, I, I will always be a patriot. I, I love Russia. I, I'm very proud to be Russian. But damn, I'm kind of lucky. I, I'm happy that I left at some point because this is just, you look at this and I'm like, how? How are you not a superstar? This is ridiculous. So we're going to be seeing more of her on my channel. So keep suggesting me songs uh, by her. And if you want to suggest something to me, please do so on my Instagram. It's much easier for me to track all your comments and all your suggestions over there. So suggest to me songs by her more because there is really not much there are a lot of like tv shows but i kind of want to see her you know in concert and stuff like that so let me know if there are songs like that all right guys my name is anastasia luna thank you so much for checking out my channel if you like the video please give me a thumbs up because it really helps me out and if you like the channel itself please subscribe and like always stay tuned for summer medals